So, Mr Speaker, let me get this straight. He has had to demand an investigation into himself because the Prime Minister is too weak to get a grip. A Prime Minister in office less than a month with a disgraced Cabinet Minister resigned with his good wishes, the Home Secretary who breached the Ministerial Code and risked national security still clings on, and now the Prime Minister defends his deputy whose behaviour has been described as abrasive, controlling and demeaning. With junior staff, Mr Speaker, too scared to even enter his office. And that's without mentioning the flying tomatoes. The Deputy Prime Minister knows his behaviour is unacceptable. So what's he still doing here? Deputy Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I'm here and happy to address any specific point she wishes to make. Uh, the, the, well, that never happened, uh, she says from a sedentary position, and I uh, will thoroughly rebut and refute any of the claims that have been made. She hasn't, in fact, she hasn't, in fact, put a specific point to me. If she wishes to do so, and this is her opportunity, I'd be very glad to address it. Angela Rayner. Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Angela Rayner. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Maybe he just doesn't think there's a problem, or maybe he's suggesting that civil servants are liars. Now he's reportedly banned from meeting junior staff without supervision. While we await an inquiry the Prime Minister hasn't even instigated from a watchdog he hasn't even appointed. In the Prime Minister's letter, he did not say how and when this will be investigated or by who. No ethics, no integrity, and no mandate.